Hi everyone, this is Norma with All My Crafts and today I'm going to show you how to crochet this towel holder for your oven door. It's very easy, very simple to make. It opens and closes like this with a button and your towel goes through this part which is stretchy. So this does stretch to hold and fit your towel. And the reason it's stretchy is because we're using a hair tie. Now I know there's all kinds of tutorials on how to make this. It's very easy and simple. My twist is this little hair tie here that I've used. Okay, so you're gonna need a button. You're gonna need a crochet hook size eye and some scissors. And I am using this pink yarn here, which is from Premier Home. And this is what the packaging looks like. And you can get this yarn at Joanne for 99 cents when it's on sale. Okay, so to get started, um, I am using two strands to cover the hair tie. I just prefer using two. I like the way that it looks with the thickness. So you can definitely use one if you want, but I prefer two. So we're going to start off with a slip knot. So the way I do it is I give it a twist here yarn over and then pull through okay give it a tug and you have your slip knot right here okay so we're gonna take our hair tie and we're gonna put this through like that and we are going to um, do a slip stitch so the slip stitch does not count as a stitch at all. This is just to secure the yarn and the hair tie together. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do single crochets around this entire hair tie. And on this one, I used 25 single crochets. Um, it depends on your hair tie. You may need more, you may need less. Some hair ties are thinner, some are thicker. So um, you'll have to, you know, see how many you need on yours. I know with this one, again, I use 25, so that's what I expect on this one. So to make our single crochet, what we're gonna do is um, insert our hook right here in the center. We're gonna pull up a loop, and then we're gonna yarn over and then pull through both loops. And this is our very first single crochet right here, okay? So we're going to continue doing single crochets around the entire hair tie. So we're just going to keep going all the way around. So this is very easy. These work, um, these can get done very quick, very fast. Um, the hair ties I got from the Dollar Tree. Again, the yarn was from Joanne for 99 cents. The towel itself you can get at a dollar store for a dollar so these are very easy to make um, if you need to uh, make a last minute gift they take no time at all to make so we're just going to continue doing our single crochets all the way around the hair tie and as you um, practice um, and as you make them this will get easier um, to do a single crochet around the hair tie. It'll get easier. It may be a little bit difficult in the beginning um, until you get used to it, but it's not that hard. So all we're doing is going through the loop, pulling up a stitch, and doing a single crochet. And I'm going to count them right now to make sure that I have 25 because that's what I used here, so I want it to be the same. So to count, we're going to start right here with this one. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So we have 22, so I'm just going to... Pull these over, 22, 23, 24, and 25. Okay, so this is our 25, and that's what it looks like. Now we're going to go to the very first stitch, and we're going to do a slip stitch. 
so I'm gonna pull through all the way okay so we have our very first uh, round done and that's what it looks like now I like the way that it looks with the two um, strands versus the one and this is what it looks like with one strand I think this yarn is um, sugar and cream and I just like the thickness see how that one looks much thicker than this one so I prefer to use two strands it's totally up to you though okay so right now I still have the two strands we're gonna start working with one strand now so I'm gonna drop one strand and I'm gonna take the other strand here and we're gonna do a chain one chain so we're gonna yarn over and we're gonna pull through that and do one chain okay so now what we're going to do is we're gonna work six half double crochets across um, the next six stitches so to start your half double crochet you're going to yarn over and in the same stitch where you, we did the slip stitch and where we did the chain we're going to insert our hook and we're going to create a half double crochet yarn over and pull through all the loops and then create it our first one so we're going to do a total of six so now in the next stitch it's number two three, four, five, and six. Okay, now this is coming out here. We can just trim this off. This is from the beginning. Okay, so we have six. Okay, so now we're going to do a chain, and we're going to repeat the same thing for 11 rows. So we're going to do 11 rows of half double crochets and there's a total of six of them. So that's two, three, four, five, and six. Now this part here will eventually cut off and we're just going to continue to do half double crochets for 11 rows. So this is row number three. And um, sorry about the camera. Okay, so that's row number three. So when we have a total of 11 rows, I'll meet you back here and we'll finish it off. Okay, so here we have completed our 11th row. So this is what it's looking like. And this is 11 rows of half double crochets and there's six stitches going across. So now the next step, we're going to do a chain one and we're gonna do single crochet. So we're gonna do in the next three stitches, one single crochet. So that's one, next stitch, single crochet, two, Next stitch, single crochet, and that's three. Now we're going to chain four. One, two, three. Oops, I can't get that last one. Four. Okay. Now in the next three stitches, we're going to do a single crochet. One, two, and three. And then I'm just going to give it a chain and we're going to give it a tug and then we can cut it off so basically you're done this is it all you're going to do is cut off all your ends you're going to cut off this end here and this end here we're going to uh, sew the button on right here and then close it up and you're done that's it it's really that simple it's not hard to do at all very easy it works up very quick and you're done i hope you guys enjoyed this video please comment like and subscribe and have a great day thank you